Hello, and welcome to the first of two Chemistry 1412 mini-lectures on intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces are responsible for many of the physical characteristics of liquids and solids. Vapor pressure, viscosity, boiling and freezing points. Intermolecular forces determine all of these. Let's take a closer look. Intermolecular forces are the forces that exist between different molecules. Intramolecular forces are the forces that exist inside of molecules, otherwise known as bonds. The attractive and repulsive intermolecular forces are weak in comparison to bonding forces. IMFs are 1% the strength of bonds. Even though they are relatively much weaker, IMFs are largely responsible for determining the structure and properties of condensed phases. Dispersion forces are also called London forces or Van der Waals forces. They are also referred to as instantaneous dipole-induced dipole forces. They are the weakest of the IMFs. Dispersion forces are common to all molecules. Dipoles exist for two oppositely charged points separated by some distance. These charges are not full charges, like in an ionic bond. They are partial charges, which is why they are represented by the lowercase Greek letter delta. They arise from very short amounts of time that exist in which an atom's nucleus is not surrounded symmetrically with the electrons in that atom. These forces are tiny and extremely short-lived. They are constantly coming into and out of existence. They are present in anything which has protons and electrons, which is everything. As the molar mass of a molecule or ion increases, so do the number of protons and electrons, so does the magnitude of the dispersion forces which exist among those molecules. Dispersion forces are only important in nonpolar molecules, even though they are present in all molecules. When a molecule is asymmetrical, the molecule is polar. That means one side of the molecule is slightly positive and the other is slightly negative. These slight charges are permanent and they interact with the slight charge in other molecules in the liquid or solid state in which they exist. The oppositely partially charged sides of the molecule align with the op opposite partially charged sides of other molecules to attract one another. Vice versa for repulsions. The charge at the poles of a dipole is seldom more than the fraction of a charge on an electron. Molecules with stronger dipoles have stronger dipole-dipole forces. The more polar a molecule is, the stronger the dipole, the stronger the intermolecular force. Dipole-dipole forces are typically stronger than dispersion forces. This is only not true for very large nonpolar molecules. A hydrogen bond is an attractive interaction between a hydrogen atom and a very electronegative atom, namely oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. The nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine has an electron-rich region in the unshared pa electron pairs. The dipole-dipole attraction between the hydrogen and the unshared electron pair on a nearby atom is unusually strong, giving rise to a hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bonds can be quite strong with energies up to 40 kilojoules per mole. Dissolution is the ability for a solid to dissolve in a liquid. Sugar dissolves in water, but only to a point. Only 20 grams of sugar will dissolve in 100 milliliters of water. If you add more sugar to the water, it will not dissolve. It will settle out as a solid in the bottom of your beaker. You can force the sugar to dissolve by heating the water.
If two liquids mix completely, they are said to be miscible. If two liquids do not mix readily, they are called immiscible. If two liquids have the same type of intermolecular forces, they will be miscible. An example of a miscible mixture is alcohol and water. They both have hydrogen bonding, so they mix together quickly and completely. An example of an immiscible mixture is olive oil and water. Olive oil is made of long hydrocarbon chains, which are nonpolar. Olive oil has dispersion intermolecular forces only. Water is polar with hydrogen bonding. These are two very different intermolecular forces, so the olive oil and the water do not mix at all. This has been part one of the Intermolecular Forces lecture series. Go now to view part two.